Uh, we're joined now by Matt Eck, the Assistant Athletics Director for Strength and Conditioning here at the University of Nevada. And Matt, you've been here since 2001, uh, going on 13 years here now with the Wolfpack. First of all, can you just kind of talk about your philosophy when it comes to the strength level and conditioning of a football team? Well, when you, uh, when you talk about uh, the football team and strength and conditioning, you know, there's a, there's a lot that goes into that. And there's, uh, from a personal standpoint, you want to see our guys excel in what they do uh, on the field and position by position. So for, for me personally, um, the philosophy is f from our defensive backs to our quarterbacks to our offensive linemen to our defensive linemen to our specialists. You know, each one of those guys has has and will have different goals um, in my mind for where their where their strength levels need to be, where their conditioning levels need to be, and so it, it it's a long season um, for for us to to be able to maintain strength throughout and maintain conditioning throughout, and 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 those are taxing things that we have to we have to think about when we're going into a season and how are we going to prepare them uh, January through August to meet the goals that, that we need to meet. And, uh, you know, th there's, there's varying philosophies throughout, uh, throughout our profession on, on how to meet these goals and what types of things sh sh we should be doing. And, uh, you know, my philosophy stems from making sure that each athlete is prepared as they can be and making sure that each individual has um, the proper tools uh, necessary to meet those things. And, and my philosophy is different than, than a lot of others, um, you know. Sure, and you came, uh, uh, graduate of Kansas State. Uh, you came here in 2001, as we talked about. Uh, this is the third coaching staff you've worked with at Nevada. I, I imagine the trick for you when a new coaching staff comes in is, is you have your philosophy and, and how you go about doing things, and then you need to kind of meld that with what the new coaching staff wants and what they expect out of this team. Sure, um, you know, Coach Pullian, um, is is a lot different than than Coach Alt was, and Coach Alt was a lot different than Chris Tormey, and uh, so there are there are changes that need to be made in my area. There's changes that are made in the in the sports medicine department uh, on on how we approach our athletes and how we talk to them and how we uh, develop our philosophy for strength and conditioning and how to train these uh, these athletes. Um, Coach Pullian is a is a high energy, high tempo, high paced, workaholic kind of attitude. And that we want that to transcend to our players. We want that to be evident in how they work with us and how we approach our training sessions. Um, there's there's a lot more focus on the actual human body and how it moves and the the kinetic chain of your body and and those kind of things all go into incorporation of how how we're going to train uh, our football athletes now, as compared to maybe under Coach Alt where we were we were pushing a lot of weight. We were trying to get our guys as big and as strong and as and as and of course as fast as we could get them. Uh, there's a little more emphasis now on on relating to the athletes and how they move and how their different movement patterns translate to how they move out on the field. So the focus may not necessarily be on can a guy squat 700 pounds? Can he squat 500 pounds and do it through a range of motion that is very functional? And can he be the best that he can be and how he moves and how it translates to the field. So I think that's, that's the biggest, biggest change that we've, that we've made from, our, uh, from my philosophy and from our staff's philosophy is, is with our football team. Now can we, can we develop flexible athletes? Can we develop mobile athletes that are, that, that are healthy, that are number one? Can we, can we make sure that they're healthy, not just during the season, but during the off season, during spring ball period, um, carrying it throughout the summer into the end season. With, with Coach Pullen coming in in January and the bulk of his staff coming in in January, uh, you're, you're kind of the first line working uh, to, to take that vision sure. and apply it to the team before they even get out to spring ball or, or even a, a fall ball back in August. So you, you're kind of the first line of translating that vision. How did you work to kind of change that energy to increase the tempo uh, just starting in the weight room? Day one, day one from the moment that I met Coach Pullian and we talked and we sat down and, and f he figured out my philosophy and how I wanted to approach the team and, and my thoughts on it. He gave me his thoughts on it. and. We've, we really have worked well together as far as uh, his vision was, was the same as mine. And um, so that made, it an, that made it an easy process right there. Number one was, uh, number two was uh, smart, 
being smart with our athletes, working fast, being fast, being having fast athletes, working to, to build fast athletes, and being physical. And those three things have, have defined what we've been about so far this winter and, and throughout spring ball and to the, to the time period that we're out at now where we're going to release our guys here for a little while, let their bodies recover, and they're going to come back in the summertime. But that tempo was set from day one. That attitude was set from day one with my staff and, and with myself and understanding that the, there's not any thinking about 2012. There's no thinking about 2011 or 2010, the magic season. We're about 2013. We're about now. We're about today. And we're about what can we do today to set ourselves up to be better tomorrow so that later on down the road, we're going to be that much better and we're going to keep taking those steps towards August, towards fall camp. And, and then we introduce the football side of it. And we've done a little bit of that now with spring ball. Um, but introducing the football side of it becomes a crucial and important factor into what we're going to do and how we can maintain their body weights and how we can maintain their level of physicality and their their mental preparation and everything that goes into it so that we can carry that on throughout the end season. Have you been pleased with what you've seen from the players and how they've responded to this change? I really have. I have seen an energized team. I've seen a the youthfulness of each one of our players coming out. I mean the the fun side of the fun side of football for some of these guys is 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 back in there, and it's been it's been very encouraging to see the the buy-in of, of what we're doing, um, and it's not it's not like it's a complete wholesale change from from Coach Alt as far as my aspect goes, but the energy and the the tempo and the pace of how we work and the um, the one the single-mindedness on what they're doing at that moment in time has changed and you can see that and uh, you know I can take some credit for that but a lot of that goes to the players and understanding what coach Pullian is asking of them and then applying it to wherever that may be whether that's in a classroom whether that's with us whether that's in the athletic training room whether that's out on the field and you can see that wholesale change you can see some of that attitude coming out in our players now and and the confidence that they exude now with what we're doing Thanks for joining, Matt. Appreciate it. Yeah.